What does chaos do when you add it into your mid-journey prompts? Let's find out. First, I am using mid-journey version 5.1, which is a default style right at the moment. I'm also going to see what happens if I use the raw style in the same images and in the same experimentation. I am using the aspect ratio of the widescreen, which is the 16 to 9. However, feel free to use any aspect ratio parameter as you wish. If you don't specify the parameter, it will result in a square image. What is chaos? The chaos parameter influences how varied the initial image grids are. The higher the value, the more unusual and unexpected results and compositions. The lower the value, they are more reliable and repeatable results. The default chaos value is the zero. So if you do not add chaos, it is going to be the most reliable and repeatable results. So let's see what happens in action when I add the chaos. First, the base prompt that I'm using here is close-up shot mushroom fractal, and then I add the aspect ratio parameter. Here is that base prompt. The prompt then with the chaos added is close-up shot mushroom fractal, the aspect ratio and the value for C, and that is dash dash C space, and then you add the value. So I'm starting with zero, and then I'll add 25, 50, 75, and 100. 100 is the maximum you can give it. Here is first chaos zero, 25, 50, 75, and 100. Now, while I run these with different chaos numbers, I evaluate and just kind of observe what I see. I'm running another set because in general, I would highly recommend running more than one rerun of every single one of your prompts. So set two at zero, 25, 50, 75, and 100. I'm not sure if it's as easy to see from you watching this than me looking at it when I'm actually doing it in mid-journey, but I can definitely see differences. And the results, the higher the C value or the chaos value is, definitely look much more peculiar or different. Now, I also want to see what happens if I add the style raw, which is the less opinionated style versus the regular 5.1 default. I'm not expecting huge differences, but let's find out. Here is the C0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And then set two, chaos of zero, 25, 50, 75, these are interesting, and 100. Now, I want to try something completely different now, now that we just looked at those mushrooms. So I am going to give Midjourney a more of an abstract subject, which is singularity. I like to use and throw it in there every once in a while. And then macro photography and specify colors, white and orange. Same aspect ratio. And at this time, I'm going to use the C values of 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Let's see what we get. Here is with chaos zero, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Now, you can definitely see, in my opinion, even bigger differences here than we saw with the mushrooms. The mushrooms definitely also produced more unusual and unexpected results the higher the C value went. But here, because I added the word orange, which is also an orange, now, like in this one at C100, Midjourney says, oh, do you want to have an orange mm, in a weird tea kettle? <laughs> but you can see that there's much more variation. And then going back to 80, it also has a close-up of an orange. I am just doing this to learn what I get. And then also, 
where these may be potentially useful. So what chaos value should you then use? Well, it depends what you are after. For example, if you're doing just exploration, it could be valuable to throw in a C value of, you know, whatever you choose. I typically start with something super low, which is like C10 or 11. And then sometimes I throw a higher number at the prompt. It, it completely depends on the results that I'm getting. If you're not exactly sure where you're going, this is a very useful thing to do where you can just kind of see what you get and then you can refine your prompt from there. However, if you're doing precision work where it is more important to get reliable results, I typically do not use chaos at all. Then I'm really just focusing on getting the prompt and guiding the prompt as close as possible to what I want to get. Here are some of my favorites upscaled. This one's super cool. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will answer best of my ability.